Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see about how to update the data which we have fetched in the previous video. So before getting started with the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. And uh, do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So in previous video, we have seen about edit data. If you have not yet watched this video, I will give you guys the link in the description. Do check it out. In this video, we will be seeing about the updation part. So let us open our VS code here. Let us close all these. So this was the edit code. And here inside edit model, let us close this. this inside edit model, we have update button, right? So we'll be copying this name and going to code.php with the post method. Okay, so let us copy this update data and go to code.php. Let us close this thing. From view and edit, I just removed the else part. No issues with that. So here we are going to write the code for updation. Let us give a comment here as well and tell update data. Now we have copied the name of that button. So let's tell if a set of dollar post of that button name. When that button is clicked, what has to happen? Let's go copy it once again. Copy and paste it here. When that button is clicked, what has to happen? So here we have edit. We have the name, email and phone number. So we need to update all these three things using this ID. Okay. So ID is required for this and all this input field. So here let's give name dollar name is equal to dollar post of name. This dollar post of name is coming from your pop up model, which is this. Don't get confused. ID we are using for jQuery name. We are using for the PHP code. Copy paste it twice, rename this to email and this to phone and we have to write the query for updation. So here tell dollar update query update query is equal to update. Let's see the table name. Let us go to localhost slash php my admin sorry your tutorials let's cut and tell php my admin php my admin this particular url will take you to that admin panel or else you can do directly go tell admin this also works this php tutorial was a database and I think students was a table. Is it student or test? Sorry. Test was a table. So let's copy this test table name and paste it here. Let us see here once again. Yeah, it is test. Update table name set name is equal to dollar name. So this dollar name variable is coming from here. And this is the column name and email is equal to dollar email comma phone is equal to dollar phone where id is equal to dollar id inside single quotes and give a semicolon here here we have to separate it by commas and at the end don't give any comma or full stop this will result in an error if you give a comma or full stop there and here we are taking the id so here we have to get the id in this index.php we don't have id here so if you see here in pop-up model we have not taken the id so id is required to update this so what we'll do is we have not yet created that let us go copy paste this and here for now i'm going to keep this as text itself while we are updating we'll make this to hidden and let it be this form control and i'm going to change this id to i'll tell this as user id user underscore id 
and this name i'll keep this as id placeholder is not required just taking it off so here let us tell user id and now let me go reload click on edit data i'm getting this field but you can see that id is not displayed that is because we have not shown that id we have not taken this that is because we have not yet taken this user id and used inside the jquery so here what we'll do is copy paste this and tell this as user id and here let us cut this and paste it here and change this to id so this id name email phone is your column name don't forget or don't get confused those things are your column name one second i'll show you this id name email phone and created it all this inside the value is the column name and this id name email phone is your field id i mean is your input field attribute id okay so don't get confused now let's go reload add this id here let us go refresh and click on 3 now we are getting 3 but here this should not be shown why because we are not going to show the user and all is happening in the back end but these are the things that need to be followed we are not going to display this id to the user we hiding this internally we'll be using this without showing so what we'll do is we'll remove this label it is of no use and keep this as hidden now let's go reload click on edit data you can see input tag is hidden now we can use this id we copy this name and go to code.php create a variable dollar id is equal to dollar post of id give a semicolon and now this id we have passed this okay that's it it's very simple don't get confused here we have just added one input tag and made that to hidden and given id attribute and name attribute so using this id id attribute got that value okay and using this name attribute we are just going to update so that's it here we have to give another run query which is update query run is equal to using mysqli query function just connect your database which is connection and copy paste this update query variable paste it here and give a semicolon so it is not required that we have to write connection we have to connect it every time we have already connected it we are just using that variable name wherever we require the connection now the updation is done let us display some message if this is getting updated or not so we'll be using if condition if this query is running successfully we are going to tell updation successful else we are going to tell update failed so i think we have used a session we'll just copy paste this session so copy paste section from save data and here you tell data updated successfully and let it return back to index.php so index.php is this page when data is updated let it redirect to this page itself okay in else part we'll have data not updated copy paste and change this to data not updated successfully and this also we are redirecting back to the index page let us go test our output refresh click on edit data i'm clicking on this user 3 and i'm renaming this to sri sri at gmail.com and i'll rename this to double five and i'm clicking on update data click on update data hey data updated successfully and you can see you have got the data here updated let us go refresh the table and here also you can see that you have got the data which is updated so that's it in this video in next video we'll see about how to delete the data i hope this video was helpful if you have any kind of doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video